All right. Uh, today text uh, uh, is uh, Habak Habakkuk uh, chapter one, verse one through four. I will read it for you. That oracle that Habakkuk the prophet saw. O Lord, how long shall I cry for help, and you will not hear? Or cry to you violence, and you will not save? Why do you make me see iniquity? And why do you I, uh, idly look at wrong? Destruction and violence are before me. Strife and contention arise. So the law is uh, paralyzed and justice never goes forth. For the wicked surround the righteous. So justice goes forth perverted. Amen. Uh, today we just uh, look at uh, uh, the passage of Habakkuk. Uh, he complained about uh, 200, 260, uh, 2600 years ago, long time ago, it was an uh, injustice, you know, society at the time. Uh, we are experiencing very similar uh, right now society. Many people claim that uh, we need a reform in prosecuting department, uh, law department, uh, department, or whatever. But only problem is who want to do that? Who want to just uh, uh, stop and who want uh, to hide it and th those kind of problem uh, everything is getting better reforming is a process but however we are experiencing seemingly unfair injustice in society legally socially politically so i do not want to talk about all social state state and uh, issues uh, happening in korean uh, korea right now today each person uh, has a different standpoint and uh, you know, both the radical and conservative people may have an uncomfortable feeling and dissatisfaction when I talk about something. But however, when we get, uh, you know, uh, this kind of dissatisfaction, uh, we just uh, go back to the Bible. What does the Bible really talking about? Let's, uh, you know, look at the Bible, if you look at it. And the structure of Habakkuk is like uh, three prayer, you know. The first one is the first one through four. He complained about so much about uh, his uh, society at the time, in his time. And then God is answering his prayer, verse five through 11. And then he's, uh, pray, he is uh, praying to God second times. One chapter, verse 12 through, you know, verse one of chapter two. And then God is answering uh, him again, second his uh, answer. You know, we know that verse uh, two, to, uh, it's a very, uh, I think, uh, uh, beautiful and important verses like that, uh, two, two, four, you know. So I will read it for, for you, uh, chapter two uh, through verse five. And the Lord answered me, write the vision, make it plain on tablets, so he may run who reads it. For still the vision awaits its appointed time. It ha it hasn't to the end, it will not lie. It seems slow, wait for it. It will surely come, it will not delay. Behold, his soul is puffed up. It is not upright within him, but the righteous shall live by his faith. Moreover, one is a traitor and the arrogant man who is never at rest. His greed is as white as a Sheol, like a death. He has never enough. He gathers for himself all nations and collects as his own all peoples. So God is answering him, and how shall we live in this injustice society? And uh, as you know, this verse 2 4 is a very important verse, verses, you know, verse, and uh, it's just the foundation of uh, our reforming, reformation, you know, a foundation. When you read it, the righteous shall live by his faith. It's a very important verse, you know. We started from the, our faith. So we based on the, our faith. We trust something and the word of God. Because of the based on the word of God, we start everything. This is very important, right? So Habakkuk really gives us a solution. What kind of attitude, life or life, you know, uh, world view you, you, sh you shall have and uh, live and cope with all situation where we are living right now. We can have uh, uh, th the answer from the Bible, right? Let's go back to, uh, you know, text. Uh, 
If we look, it, uh, look into the world 2,600 years ago, in the Habakkuk time, his uh, society where he lived, we see the similar social stature and uh, issues and uh, problems. He complained about the seemingly unfairness towards you know, the people of God because uh, bad people, they are living, they are doing violence and so many things. But it seems like God is just, you know, be silent at, at that time. How about you? We are experiencing so many things in our days. Sometimes, you know, unfairness. And sometimes, you know, injustice happening to you and in our society. Sometimes uh, violence. Sometimes, you know, we see this serious effect. Uh, fiction, so many things we just uh, look at in our society, iniquities, and that the strong uh, one will not get any problem and will not be prosecuted, and uh, they have uh, no problem, you know. So we feel just unfairness. It's unfair, you know. Looks like the poor will not get a fair uh, opportunity, and uh, many people will think about it. Those kind of uh, social status is very similar to our days. That's why he complained complain about so much to God. He is uh, just crying to the Lord. He is asking to God's, you know, uh, answer. He cried to the Lord, violence. You will not save. So many things of violence. You know, the strong uh, people just uh, push it at the weak like that. And then iniquities. They are sinning. But they are never prosecuted by the law, you know, because because they are uh, high in position, because they have power. Even though they are doing really bad things, they will not go to jail, you know, those kind of problems. That's why the prophet Habakkuk is uh, complaining so much, one for the law is paralyzed. He's just saying that law is paralyzed, it's not executing at all, paralyzed. It's only used by the strong people. Look at our society. President and also secretary of law and the strong or anyone who are in high position, they do whatever they want to do. But the weak people, because of a tiny problem, robbing some kind of money because of a, a very tiny sins, they go to jail, you know. This is a really... Uh, society like uh, law is uh, paralyzed. It's also a similar situation. Justice never goes forth. Injustice prevails when you look at it. And uh, our social status, status is like that. So, so the wicked surrounded the righteous. Wicked, so many people, they are getting stronger and they persecuting the, you know, uh, the righteous. Especially the believers, uh, we are under persecution right now in the name of, you know, just the protecting or contagion of COVID-19. They just go to the church and tremble down and they just, uh, you know, taking the church property like that. We see that and they put, the, you know, the pastors into prison. Anyone who is uh, only because, only because you know, uh, criticizing president like that. You know, we see so many uh, symptoms or, uh, you know, phenomena like that. Justice goes for perverted like that. They claim that public, you know, fairness, but they are not doing. That's why so many people are desperating and uh, also criticizing the government like that. So exactly the same. But how come? What should we do in this kind of situation? Time to time we see seemingly violence, iniquity, strife, unfairness, injustice, and right, unrighteousness. So many bad things happening in our society. That's why we, as uh, the prophets of God, we cry, should cry out. Exactly, you know, quoting from the Bible, justice, you know, really perverted. Yeah? Goes, really goes for perverted in his situation in our time. What should we do? We exactly follow the 
you know, the life of Habakkuk. What did he do? He prayed to God. Even though you are complain, you have a complaint, you know, about our society, our problem, our situation, we can pray to God. Because as a people of God, we can go forward, uh, you know, to ask uh, God's help. This is our privilege. We have a privilege to ask, you know, God's uh, uh, answering, you know, we can go to kneel down, ask uh, the power and answer of a prayer, you know, our prayer. We can go before. So in this morning, I pray to God, Lord, you know our situation, how it goes, our government, our society is going to, you know, the church is uh, persecuting, persecuting right now because of so many reasons because we get together just uh, just because we get together just because we having a uh, fellowship right this kind of problem is happening in our times he complained about and he prayed to God God answered him he said that God said that oh Habakkuk this is not the all the the worst the situation is coming up you know when you look at verse from 5 and then God is telling him and the uh, Keltian, Keltian is like a Babylonian. Babylonian will invade to your country. You are struggling with your own country people because of injustice society. But don't worry about it. I will, I will give you conquerors, Keltians and Babylonians. They will invade to your country and they will Take a captivity, you know, your people. You will have a lots of a problem. The worst situation will happen to you. In our history, in his history, Judah experienced the fall of Jerusalem, 586. So God is telling to Habakkuk in this situation, definitely before that time. Uh, originally, uh, we supposed that, uh, you know, before the 600, you know, uh, over around the 600, 600 something. So it will happen a couple of uh, decades later, you know. And then finally, the word of God came true, you know. Really, uh, the Keltian, Babylonian invaded uh, Judah and they just uh, uh, really make a fall of uh, Jerusalem, 586. As we know, so many people, they got into the captive, uh, captivity, you know, taken into the captivity. And the word of God exactly happened and exactly and fulfilled. We are expecting better situation. We expecting recovery of our, our society. But think about it. God may give us a worse situation. We think uh, next year, all right, we coming up uh, 2021. All kind of country vaccine and they are, they are ready for remedy, right? Treatment. But we don't have. Korea do not have. Whose responsibility is that? This is a responsibility for the government. They're claiming and they're boasting for Korean, you know, treatment. We should worry about vaccine and the remedy for all our, you know, COVID-19. Whose responsibility is that? As you know, United States and England and so many countries, they already get a shot. They already have a remedy. But how come in our country? Whose responsibility is, is there? Only talking about politically, they are fighting each other. This kind of situation. Who brought this situation? We are desperate. We are so uh, uncomfortable with uh, all kind of a uh, procedure right now. We are really uh, similar, uh, you know, contention or uh, contentment like uh, uh, Habakkuk right now. When he look at our situation, we should not be, uh, we should not post ourselves. Always be humble. We we may get a worse situation. Habakkuk was expecting to uh, healing and recovery, but God is uh, telling him, 
the worst one will come. Heretian, Babylonian, you, you are suffering because of your national affairs right now. But international affairs will happen to you. You are struggling in internal affairs. In other words, we are just uh, internally, in our country, we are just uh, struggling it. But internationally, we will get a problem. What should we do? Look at the Bible, you know. We are so desperate, down and cast when you think about our situation. But however, God is telling us how to Habakkuk, the prophet of uh, you know, God. We, we should have the same attitude, same also answer for like this. When you look at the Habakkuk 2, chapter 2, we got an answer from it. We have to look at the, the word of God, the righteous. Who are the righteous? You are, you are like uh, you people as a Christian. We are the righteous. We only trust in the Lord. We only trust the, in the word of God only. We have hope in the only word of God only. So the righteous shall live by his faith. Tzadik in Hebrew, original Hebrew, Tzadik ichye be emunato. It means uh, not only his faith, his faithfulness, his sincerity. Who's a sincerity? Anyone who really believing based on the, the word of God. We are just, uh, uh, maybe you may have this uh, satisfaction. You may be uncomfortable with all situation, social status, or social matters and issues. But you should have the same attitude like Habakkuk. Go back to the word of God. Pray to God. Bring all the, our issues and problems to God. Just ask, uh, you know, God's, God's uh, healing and God's, uh, you know, answering for this uh, society. We should uh, pray to God. God is alive. He's uh, listening our prayer. He never just, uh, you know, He listens. He listens our prayer. That's why we should uh, go to God. We are called the righteous. You are righteous people. We are as a people of God. All are the righteous. What does it mean the righteous? Always trust in the Lord. Always trust in the word of God only. There is no hope. And there is no, you know, the answer. Except but the word of God only. Those kind of person. We are so, uh, you know, uh, amazed and uh, we are so uh, just uh, you know hearted by uh, these uh, social uh, I think issues and problems but have hope in the Lord the word of God you know this verse is so important this is the foundation of the reformation as you know it quoted from uh, Romans 1 16 17 right the righteous will live shall live by his faith you know Every reformation started from Romans and Gal uh, Galatians and also uh, Hebrews in New Testament. So many verses based on the, this, uh, you know, Habakkuk 2 4. The righteous will live, shall live by his faith. In other words, we only have hope in the Word of God. You know, when you just read the rest of verses, Chapter 2, 6 through 20, it's talking about, you know, five different kinds of people appeared there. First one is uh, robbers, 2, 6 through 8. Uh, second, you know, time is a prideful and greedy people, and verse 9 through 11. And uh, 12 through 14, talking about doing evil and violence. Anyone who like that? And also, very corrupted people, person, and uh, verse 15 through 17. And 18 through 20, talking about, we see idol worshippers, anyone who do not believe the word of uh, the Lord, any just worshiping the foreign gods, like, you know, uh, idolatry. Yeah. This is a uh, five kind of, uh, you know, uh, cursed people in his time. What kind of people are you in? So many people, they are living, just uh, taking something out of uh, other people, robbers, in other words. 
So many people are so greedy. He pays money for 30 million per day. Just, uh, you know, uh, hospitalized, you know, special care. 30 million per day. He never pay money for the, you know, uh, people who didn't receive money. Those kind of people, we call it greedy. Greedy people, he take only money for himself. He's a cursed man. Bible is talking about. He want to rob others only. Doing evil and violence. Showing his power. And the weak, you know, and corrupted person. And uh, really corrupted into sexual harassment, sexual things, and then, you know, worldly thing like that. Anyone who are not worshiping the Lord and who is not really regarding God as the really God of God. So many other things they are just looking at. Either, either worshippers. These kind of people will be go to, uh, you know, Sheol. Go to the hell. I'm sorry about that. The Christmas is coming. Anyone who is not receiving Jesus Christ and born again Christian who really do not, you know, anyone, you know, does not confess uh, Jesus as the Lord. Jesus died for you. Jesus will, Jesus is only the Savior who saved you. Come to this world to save the whole world. Anyone who doesn't believe this, they will go to hell. I'm sorry about that. Anyone who listens about my preaching right now, I'm sorry about it. That's why we need the gospel. Believe Jesus Christ. There is no way. I'm the way. I'm the, you know, truth. No man can come to the Father except through me. Jesus is the only way, the truth. There is no way except but Jesus Christ going to heaven. This is the gospel. You believe Jesus Christ. He's coming. He came to this world 2,000 years ago. Uh, 2,000 years ago. We keep this, this as the day of a Christmas season, you know, all right? He came to this world. He will come back to judge the whole world in the future. Second coming is coming up. I'm sorry. So many people, they are living without believing, without accepting Jesus Christ. How terrible, you know, God is asking you, Christmas is coming. This season, 2020, another year is coming up. We should confess, we should believe. We said we should really accept Jesus Christ. Jesus is the Lord, right? So when you look at the last prayer, chapter 3 of Habakkuk, Habakkuk is pray, praying to God. Recovery, you know, in his last prayer, we see his hope and his anticipation. You know, Habakkuk said, chapter 3, verse 2, I have heard the report of you and your work, O Lord, do I fear in the midst of the years, revive it. Revive it. Lord, revive it. In the midst of years, make it known. In wrath, remember mercy. We should have the hope in the Lord. And what, it, what he is going to do, God will come to this world and to judge. Jesus will come to this, uh, uh, this world a second time. He will judge everything according to, according as uh, what they have, have uh, done to him. You know, everyone will be judged according to, according to his uh, doing behavior. So many people, they don't really fear about what they do. We should, uh, you know, fear about it, what you're doing. We should spend our times, our talents, our money, our all belongings to use for the glory of God. So many people are using for himself, only misusing it. Only for the, those kind of people is uh, the greedy people. Anyone who got a position and power, try to kill other people and the weak. This is injustice, uh, injustice society. They doing evil for himself himself 
He got to just uh, want to have power and uh, to showing him violence, not like uh, unfairness, you know, robbing something for misusing for himself, corrupted and uh, sexually, and because uh, turn out to be there, take a suicide. As uh, I'm sorry about, you know, so many people they did in our society, sexually they involved it. And because of the, you know, people will get mad and just uh, took a suicide. Whatever. This kind of situation, this kind of uh, symptom, phenomenon is happening in our days, in our situation. If they don't believe Jesus Christ, they'll go to jail. Not only go to jail, they go to hell. You know, they will go to Sheol. I'm sorry. I'm preaching about hell. Anyone who does not, does not believe Jesus Christ, they will go to hell and go to Sheol. I'm sorry. Believe Jesus Christ. We, even though we are just experiencing terrible situation right now, what should we do? Look at the, you know, the presence of God. Chapter 3 is the, the, the answer for us. Habakkuk was looking for God. Oh, God is uh, coming down. God is uh, just uh, judging to the whole enemies for the, you know, the righteous. He saw that in uh, chapter 3. He come. He just, uh, you know, come down, descend from heaven, and then just uh, sh shooting arrows, and uh, just uh, he show, manifest his, uh, his being, and then just kill the old enemies in looking at chapter 3. How wonderful, powerful. That's why he had hope in him, you know. This is beautiful. Chapter 3, 15. You trample the, the sea with uh, your horses. Look at, the, look at the phenomena. God is coming down like, uh, you know, victorious, victorious uh, king. He trampled the sea with uh, the horses and surging the mighty waters. I hear and my body trembles, my lips Quiver at the sound, the rottenness enters into my bones, my legs tremble beneath me. Yet I will quietly wait for the day of trouble to come upon people who invade us. Though the fig tree should not blossom, nor fruit be on the vines, the produce of the olive fail, and the fields will no food, the flock be cut off from the fold, and there will be no hurt in the stores. Yet, I will rejoice in the Lord. I will take a joy in the God of my salvation. God the Lord is my strength. He makes my feet like uh, the tears. He makes me tread on high places to the choir master with a stringed instrument. How beautiful, you know. He's talking about he didn't have nothing. Look at verse 17. Fig tree, you know, in Israel, when you go there and uh, April, uh, do you, you know, the, the trees and the uh, uh, fig trees blossom at the time. Usually it uh, starts from April until October. You know, six months, it blossoms everything. They can got, uh, you know, they could uh, get a fig tree and also fruits, especially olive, olive, olive oil, olive and everything until April to October. After October and six months, they don't have that, but, you know, they will get from flour, you know, like a milk, a cheese, like that. And also they can eat meat like that. So this is a, uh, like uh, one year, they uh, put, uh, you know, product. They can eat uh, fruits. They can eat, uh, uh, you know, uh, like uh, meat, like that, or oil. In other words, uh, this is like uh, you can earn from one year. This is this is really my situation. You know, here I don't have a fig tree blossom. I don't have a fine fruit. I don't have uh, olive, uh, you know, produce. I don't have that. I have uh, uh, no fruit, you know, cut off from the fold and uh, nothing there. I don't have income a year because school just uh, illegally fired me and I don't have a job right now. But, you know, personally, I'm thinking about legally, 
I am fighting with that. You know, what I'm saying is that all uh, illegal thing, everything is happening like this. We don't, we just, uh, you know, supernaturally, you just uh, overcome the situation. This is not that easy. Many people, they say, all right, this is possible. But when you really face this kind of situation, it is not that easy. You know, a year, if you don't have any income, you know, six months, you don't have nothing to eat, like in fruits, fruits and vines and whatever, there is no nothing. And after six months, there is nothing, uh, you know, you have olive oil, whatever, you know, herbs and any uh, meats, nothing to eat. You'll get mad. But look at, uh, you know, the attitude, the behavior of uh, Habakkuk 18. Yet, you know, yet, in Hebrew, on the contrary, situation is uh, like uh, uh, you overcome the situation. I will rejoice. How about you? This is uh, the believer. This is uh, the righteous people. Tendency should be behavior. We should overcome the situation. You may have a difficult situation in our society, injustice society, whatever you just uh, got, uh, may put you in a difficult situation. We may experience those kind of situation because uh, we live in this world so many bad people, evil people, idol, idol, you know, idol worshiper, whatever, corrupted people, persons, you know, pride and greedy people and the robbers are taking money from you, whatever. So many bad things happening in our, you know, surroundings and circumstances. In those situations, what can you do that? You better rejoice in the Lord. He is only our source of our hope, our salvation. I'm satisfied with it. I'm happy with my situation. All legal procedure, I don't worry about. I don't worry about my future because I'm doing right. I'm doing okay with God's, you know, relationship right now. Anyone who is greedy, anyone who is robbing something, anyone misusing, you know, anyone just taking public money to himself, anyone who likes to do that, anyone who insists on truth as a truth, those kind of people, even though they got a position, they are just uh, residing in a position right now in power, they will disappear in the future according to the Bible, teaching of the Bible. Hallelujah! You know, trust in the Lord. Trust in the, the Word of God. Bible is uh, teaching us today. I want to just uh, finish uh, today's sermon. How wonderful this beautiful uh, prophet Habakkuk. He just uh, challenged uh, so many verses and then uh, to the New Testament, influenced the uh, old New Testament, and then Reformation started from his uh, saying, to chapter 2, 4, yeah, the Word of God. And his uh, tendency, his uh, behavior, his, uh, you know, his uh, mindset, look at that, 3.16 and 3.17. Even though I got uh, this kind of severe situation. I don't worry about 3.18. Yet I rejoice in the Lord. I take a joy in God of my salvation. If you are saved people, that's okay. Life is life. It's, uh, it uh, goes so fast. Everything, law is perverted and uh, injustice uh, just uh, goes uh, like uh, uh, really, uh, you know, today verses like uh, uh, justice goes a uh, force perverted and the uh, law is uh, paralyzed like it's our situation even though you experience with that don't worry about it. have hope in the Lord the, the evil towards will disappear like uh, you know after dawning after the sun dawning you know hope in the Lord have hope in the Lord trust in the Lord do not worry about it. Our situation will just will be changed. In these days, I really have a hope of the word of God, Esther 4.16. I really like it. Because, uh, you know, uh, uh, one time snow, you know, 
uh, snow, snowing uh, day, I went to Hyunchung, uh, Hyunchung Sa, and there, and I look, just walk around there, and I saw that, as you know, Salgo Janan Janan Chukko, Chukko Janan Sanda. You know that words and uh, phrase in there, and I challenge that it it is you know uh, already uh, I think uh, two thousand years ago. And in the, in the Bible, there is a similar expression there, as you know. Esther said, you know, Ka shall avadati avadati. You know, if I die, I will die. If I perish, I, die, I perish. Determine the dedication, determine mind. You know, we don't worry about, we don't just uh, uh, neglect all worries and uh, take away all your worries and uh, future happening. Only trust in the Lord. We should live according to, you know, the word of God with a determined mind in our situation to fight with all against the evils, evil doers, evil doings, and the evil and the system, whatever. So let's read it 2-4 again, and we finish it. Uh, Today's sermon, two four, second part, but the righteous, right? Let's read it. Uh, the righteous, together, the righteous shall live by his faith. Amen. So only the righteous will live by his sincerity. He's a faithfulness. We only trust in the Lord of God. Do, do not look at the situation, phenomenon happening, your surroundings. That makes us desperate and uh, downcast. When you look at it, situation always uh, persecuting us. But don't worry about it. Even though you don't have nothing, like Habakkuk, fig tree should not blossom, and no fruit beyond the vines. The previous of the olive fail, and the fields of yield no food. The flock be cut off from the fold, and there will be fruit, no herd in the stores. Nothing there. Don't worry about it. God is with you. You are blessed people and you will experience God's great, mighty uh, salvation. Amen.